If you are experiencing crashes or simply want to remove all mods, then watch this video. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the process of removing all modifications from your GTA 5 game. First, I'll show you on how to install a tool that will help you remove all the mods. Next, I'll guide you on how to locate your game directory folder. After that, I'll demonstrate on how the removal tool works. And finally, I'll teach you how to verify your game data. No matter your level of experience, this guide is suitable for everyone. All you need to do is watch this video until the end and follow each step carefully for the best results. So without further ado, let's get started! So I will leave a link in the description that will redirect you to my Discord server. Go ahead and click on it, verify yourself, go down to links and resources, go to the channel named Fix Crashes. Here you will see post number three and the link that we will be visiting today. If you don't want to join Discord, that's totally fine. You can just type over the link as you see it right now. We also have an installation service for anyone that's lazy. You can pick a package and we will install it for you remotely. Heading back to Fix Crashes, let's go ahead and visit this link. So this is the link that we will be visiting. It is the tool that we will be downloading. Click on download and it will automatically start downloading. If not, just click on download again and it will download instantly. Now let's open up the folder. Here you'll have the tool. It will automatically extract it for you. If not, just use Windows Extractor. Double click on it. As you can see right here, we're gonna click on extract all. Click extract. Now you're going to double click on it to open up the removal tool. This screen right here is new to me. Um, I've used it before, so I'm going to run it anyways. Of course, do this on your own risk. You need to also hit yes to confirm. After that, it will tell you it seems that this is your first time to start this tool. So you need to choose your main directory folder. Let me go ahead and find my folder which i know out of my head it is right here so i'm also quickly going to show you guys how you can find your main directory folder the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up steam then you're going to go to library here you can right click on the game click on manage click on browse local files it will open up the folder automatically as you can see this is our main directory folder and this is the path that you can follow in the tool removal it is pretty easy so it works practically the same in rockstar launcher and epic launcher you just have to open it up go to the game settings options and find local files but this of course will not be the hardest part for you going back to the tool you have here the option to delete all the files. This is the one that I always use. I don't go and manually delete them one by one, see which modification I don't want. I choose to start fresh and that's the best way to do it, especially if you have any issues. That being said, let me go ahead and show you. This is our main directory folder with all the files and modifications. I'm now going to click on this red button right here. It will ask me if I'm sure that I want to delete all the modifications. I'm sure. I'm going to click on yes. Again, it will ask you to confirm. I will click on yes again. And now it's all removed as you can see on the left side. It's that easy. So what you want to do next, just to be sure, especially if you're the person that is experiencing issues, you should go ahead and verify game data. How you can do that is go back to Steam, Properties, go to Installed Files, and click on Verify Integrity of the Game. It works exactly the same in Rockstar Launcher. And the reason why this has so much benefits is you don't need to delete the whole game and re-download it, which will take for some people hours. In some cases, I've even heard almost a day um rockstar launcher exactly the same i don't have it installed here right now but you click on the game then settings and here you have verify game data that's how easy it is 
uh, as you can see it is pretty fast uh, it will be done maybe in 10 15 minutes i hope uh, for some of y'all maybe faster for some a bit slower but that's totally fine you're not downloading the whole game after this you're good to go and you can start installing your modifications again or just play for the fresh clean install so that being said i believe we are coming to an end of this video thank you all for watching and have a great day goodbye